please like subscribe and put on your notification thank you hello welcome to tutelage educational service i am joseph janet the tutor vocational and grade teacher today i will be teaching on grammar and in grammar our topic for today is preposition so tell me what do you really know about preposition let's have a quick definition of what preposition is a preposition, I would say, is a part of speech that shows relationship between two things. It's also known to be a semantic property which illustrates a relationship between the subject and object of a sentence. Now let's move on to the content of preposition. We have location, timing, and directions. In location, we have on, under, in. So those are the words on the location. And we move to timing. We have before, after, during. Okay, so let's take a look at some words on the direction. We have from, towards, and to. So I'll be taking you to some examples of what prepositions are all about. Okay? Now, in the examples of preposition and the content of preposition, I told you we have preposition of location, preposition of timing, and preposition of distance. So we'll start in bits. Preposition of location. What do you know about preposition of location? Preposition of location can be defined as a preposition which is used to refer to a place where something or someone is located. There are some preposition of location that can be used to discourse almost endless numbers of places and there is the following at a preposition of place which is discourse at a certain point in a preposition of place which is used to discourse an enclosed space on a preposition of place which is used to discourse a surface so I will take you to brief example Okay, in our preposition of location, it continues. Our brief examples are one, Mr. Floyd stays in Minnesota for 10 years. In is a prepositional word, and Minnesota is a state in the US. Our second example is my mom is at home now. At is a preposition. Home is a place, and we all know a place has classification under or now. So we move to our third example for today, and it says the mouse is on the table. Two things, mouse plus table. So, relationship between the both of them is one is on, another one. On is a prepositional word. So, let's move to our next agenda which brings us to preposition of timing preposition of timing is said to be a preposition that allows you to discuss a specific time period such as a date on the calendar one of the days of the week an actual timing something takes place a preposition of timing are the same word as preposition of place However, they are used in different ways and they are as follow. At This is a preposition of timing used to discuss the clock time, holidays, festivals and other specific time frame, including expectations such as at night. In This is a preposition of timing used to discuss months, seasons, years and centuries general times of the day and longer period of time, such as in the past. On, the preposition of timing is used to discuss a certain day of the week or a portion of the day of the week, specific dates or a special day such as on the new year day. So we move on to some examples. So preposition of timing continues with our examples like I got home at 12 o'clock every day. Miss Amy will hold the test on Monday. She was born on the 8th of June 
2010. So those are examples of proposition of timing. So on our next agenda, this brings us to preposition of direction. Wow. A preposition of direction, if I should define, I would say, it indicates something which is added for, directs somewhere, or shows the direction of movement. Preposition of direction includes prepositions such as into, on, onto, through, to, towards, away from, from, of, and out. Examples of preposition of direction. I only have a few examples of preposition of direction and also there are so many prepositions. We have prepositions of manners, prepositions of attitude, prepositions of effects and there are many. So I go to my example now. He wants them to keep away from his apple tree. The preposition in this statement is away from. So let's go to the next preposition. The snake slithers towards the bill the bullfrog. The preposition in the statement here is the bullfrog. Towards the bullfrog. I took the pen from George. The preposition in this sentence here is from. So that's a brief example on preposition of direction. Now, so preposition can be followed by verb and the word ink. I-N-G, ink. So we have a picture here and it says, what is this? And the answer to this question on the picture is, this is a machine used for cooking rice. So now the word there is for cooking rice. The verb cook plus ink gives us cooking. So, for is the proposition in this sentence here. Okay. So, here are some list of the most common prepositions. We have above, about, along, behind, and every other one. And on my second page, we have amid, below, by, in, without, since, above, among, beneath, down, over, unto, true. So, those are my common preposition script for you okay now we, this brings us to testing knowledge one i have three questions in testing knowledge one and the first question says the pizza is in the oven so the second one is the pizza in the oven is mine so which sentence is correct and which sentence has a proposition in it? So the second sentence is correct and the preposition in the sentence is in because it comes before the object of the preposition. So let's move to the second example. The girl by the door is my kid's sister. So what's the correct preposition in that sentence? And the answer is by because by is a preposition that comes before the object of the preposition door so we go to the third example the runner raced the runner raced around the track so what's the correct answer to the question here around so this brings us to the end of test your knowledge and we move to lesson two, which is prepositional phrase. Um, before you go further to know what prepositional phrase is, in preposition, you have to know preposition, the basics of preposition, what preposition is all about, how to make a sentence, how to search preposition. So here we say, these are prepositional phrase. Preposition phrase starts with a preposition and end with the object of a preposition. And I have three examples here. In the oven, by the door, above the track. And I could add one for you, around the track. So those are prepositional words.
So we move to our third lesson for today, which brings us to the object and the subject of preposition. The object of a preposition must be a noun or a pronoun. Always comes at the end of a prepositional phase. Let me give you an example of what this is. The, cookie, the cookies are in the oven. The cookies are in the oven. The oven is the noun that ends the prepositional phase. Oven is the object of the preposition and that makes cookies the subject, which is the main topic. So this brings us to text to knowledge too. Identify the prepositional phase. And I have an example for you which says, I sat with my mom. So which of this is the correct preposition? I sat with my mom, with my mom. Okay, the answer is with my mom. With is a preposition, mom is a noun, and that identifies human. Thanks for watching. At Tutelage Educational Service. This presentation was made by Joseph Janet, the Tutti Vocational and Basic Teacher. Um, I would really appreciate if you tune in to watch our next topic, indirect and direct speech on grammar. Thank you.